Ah, welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. On this video, I'm working you on prism. Prism is a very nice part of mathematics which uh, you need to understand. Now, what is a prism? Don't forget to share or kindly share and subscribe. Don't just just watch for watching sake. Share to your to your friends, to your everybody around you so that they can learn mathematics like the way you are learning. Also, now let's talk about what is prism. A prism is a solid with uniform cross section, cross sectional area, cross sectional area. That's a solid. Now, um, I think uh, I don't need much. Please, you can go and read more on those things. That, but you need to understand what is called type of prism. Type of what? Type of prism. Now, what are the type of prism? You have to understand that uh, we have regular prism and we have irregular, irregular prism. That is what you need to understand this very well. Now, what are the regular prism? Regular prism that the one that be formed from what? Polygon. Pol polygon. Now, polygon. Now, which is, it can be, you know, all sort of polygon, triangle, rectangle, uh, square base, uh, pentagon, you know, and so on and so forth. They are all polygons. Now, in regular prism, you all know that uh, regular prism are not, you know, is a regular shape, which is also a prism. That is what we need to know. But on this video, on this series, I'll be working on this part, which is regular prism, which is on the one of uh, polygon. Now, by now, you will understand, by the end of this part, I think I will be working on triangular base prism. Now, triangular prism. Now, let me quickly uh, pyramid. I mean, pri uh, prism. There's a between pyramid and prism. Prism, pyramid has edges. Let me quickly show you something. Now, this is a very good example of what triangular pyramid. Can you see? This is a triangular pyramid. Can you see that? Can you see? Now, in in terms of prism, it will be talking about vertices. You know, it will have vertices. To have a point now, but in terms of prism, this is not so. Can you see? We are talking about edges here. We are talking about edges here. Now, look at this is a triangular prism, and it has what one, two, three. Now, this type of triangular prism now it can also form different type of triangle. You know, there are three three type of triangle majorly. We have equilateral triangle, we have isolated triangle, and we have scaling. Now, those things can be formed from what? Prism. Depends on what you are having. Also, right angle triangle can form a prism. But it makes your work to be very, very simple. Now, take note of that. It means on this video, I'll be working on what? Triangular prism. That is what I'll be working on. That is triangular prism. Another thing you need to understand, this is what? Rectangular prism. This is a rectangular prism. Can you see? This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Now, these are what? Uh, these are called. Can you see? This one, two, three, four. These four are known as what? Um, what does it call it? Um, trapezium. Sorry, thank you. It's called trapezium. I have to come down and boost it out. Now, these are trapezium, 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 trapezium. Now, can you see that this is a what? Rectangular prism. Now and also, I have what is called called what square prism. Now, this is a square prism. Can you see this? This, this, this. Now, can you see also is squared? Is squared. This, 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 this. Jack trapezium. But the, what is there is that since it is a square uh, prism, the trapeziums are equal. The trapeziums are what are equal. It means this trapezium is equal to this trapezium, it's equal to three trapezium, it's equal to 
that they are equal. The round trapezoids are what? Are equal. But this is a what? Square. And this is a square. But look at this particular one. The trapezium one here is not equal. This trapezium is equal to this trapezium, and this trapezium is equal to this trapezium. That is what we are going to be working on here on this video. Another thing I want you to understand is the, it's another prism. Look at the prism now. This is another prism. Now, can you see one, two, three, four, five, six? Now, this is the what six edges, which it will be called um, hexagonal uh, prism. Hexagonal prism. Now, it's an hexagonal prism because it has six edges. Six edges. Can you see six? You know that is hexagonal prism. Now. This is a prism. I mean, this is a hexagonal. Hexagonal. This faces their what? Their trapezoid. Their, their trapezium. Now, that is what hexagonal. Prism. We can also have pentagonal prism. Depends on. I think. Don't forget the word polygon. This word plus the polygon can come up in different form. Now, this another prism that I want you to understand. This is a prism. This is a prism. Can you see that? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a what? Prism. But this edge, this place is equal to this place. But in this case, they are not, they are all both hexagonal prism. But the upper is not equal to the what? Lower here. This is not equal to this. But this time around, this is equal to this. This is very easy to find. Just find the what? Two of these. Multiply by what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this one, each of the faces is a rectangle. Is a rectangle. But but each of these faces is a is a each of these faces is a trapezium. Please take note of those things and uh, by God's grace, that is what I'm going to be working on this series. Now, on this series, I'll be talking about uh, permit me to rub it up. I'll be talking about oh Jesus. I'll be working extensively on on um on the triangular triangle prism or triangular anyhow we call it triangle prism. That's what we are going to be working on on this video. That is what we have been working on. And I've told you this is a tri triangle prism. I've told you that there are different types of triangle. Now, I think I named uh, equilateral triangle, isolated triangle, and the scaling. And rectangle triangle is also a type of triangle that one of the angle is 90. The two angles are what? 180. Now, that's what I'm going to work on here. Let me try to replicate. Now, look at this. This is a prism. This is a prism. This permit me to manage my manage my drawing. Okay, thank you. Now this is a prism. This prism is very, very simple. If I have A, I mean A and B, now this place is equal to this place. Take note of that. No doubt. No doubt. That is, this is not the inside type of bottom. Can you see this is equal to this? That is what I'm trying to say. Now, what I'm trying to tell you that that is equal to that. Now, what I don't need to do is that um, now volume of a prism it always equals to base area multiplied by what height multiplied by the height it means in terms of it will be one all over two of a b multiplied by what by height that is what we are talking about that is volume of the two now the only thing is when you have prism in terms of this this is a right angle triangle you don't need to think far you don't need to disturb yourself just think of what Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem lets us to know that uh, 
which is rules or theorem, will be equal to what? Hypotenuse squared. That will be what? Hypotenuse squared equals to a squared plus what? b squared. That is Pythagoras theorem for you. But at this point, you do not need this rule. It's not needed. C is not needed. You can only do it C for you to get the, what, the faces. But in this part, you are looking for what? And uh, by so doing that, you can find anything that is missing and you can fix it up. Don't forget that area of a triangle, area of triangle is of one base, I mean, A times height, base at times height. Let me put base at times height. Now, can you see that base, that this is also known as height, this is also known as what? Base. Take note of that. This, that is why I said this is not actually needed. You can only need it to find the what? And uh, to find the volume, you need this, this is the height. From here to here is this height one. Here is the height I'm talking about. This is the height of the triangle. This is the height of the prison. Please take note of those things. And uh, I think for that, you should be able to understand what I'm trying to explain. Now, uh, this is called perpendicular distance. Please, perpendicular distance or uh, height. Please take note of those things and uh, very, very important. Now, uh, I think by so doing that, you should understand. This is a one type. Another type can come this way. Now, I join this together. I join this together. I join this together. Now, I think that is what I'm having here with me. This is a very good example of what I'm having here with me. Can you see? That is what I'm having here with me. You can see. Now, this time around, if the question is coming in form of what? Um, equilateral. This is equilateral triangles. You know what equilateral triangles is. Now, you just run to what? Eros formula. Eros Eros, sorry, Eros formula, which says that um, Eros formula says that what root of s bracket of s minus a, x minus b, and x minus c. That is Eros formula, which my x equals to one, two, one uh, half of a plus b plus c. That is my Eros formula. Now, from here, you find it. This will give you what the area of triangle when you apply this thing. You get the area of triangle with the help of that you will go. Now, now, if you are asked to find the total, I mean volume of this, you must to find what is perpendicular distance. This is not a perpendicular distance. This is not a perpendicular. This is not a perpendicular. Now, this is a perpendicular distance. Do you get it now? Now, don't worry. Even with the help of Euros formula, you have got the what the area of this multiplied by the what the height. That is what you need to know. Another thing can come up in form of what? Scaling. That the two of them are not equal. And is a what? Is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, now, it's also, I'm trying to replicate what is here. I'm just trying to explain the three of this. That. And uh, that. That. Now. It can come in this form. It's a prism, which you have to find it also. But this time around, this is not equal to this. It's not equal to this. By so doing that, you need some manipulation, and uh, you will be fine by the end of this. Don't forget, I've shown you the common uh, one of it. This is the pressure part. This is uh, the clean part. And um, I mean, what is it? I so select part which is also right angle triangle part. Now I have one problem there, one or two problems there. I think the time would be enough for me to, 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 to show you how it's been done. Don't forget you are home with Further Solutions Academy. Don't forget to subscribe. You must to subscribe, it's a must. Now, um, let me put down this question and uh, let's see how it will go. Now, hope you are enjoying our video. Please tell your friends about it and uh, let us know. Don't forget, I'm working on tri triangular prison. 
And this is a very good example of what? Triangular prism. I think I've shown you different form of it. Now, I have some problems there. Permit me to write it out. Okay, please, can you manage to see this? Sorry, try to see it. I think this my marker is not very good. I need to work on another marker. Please, we need your sponsorship. No amount is small. Now, I want to find that, um, you know, and um, now I want to find this. You are asked to find the magnitude. This means the magnitude of what? AC. It also be equal to what? FD. Take note of that. And you are looking for the total surface area of the pyramid, which is the triangular pyramid. Now, what I just need to do, solution to this thing. Solution. Now, let me use another marker. Let me to give me a good one. Now, I just need to find something like this. Look at this. You don't have the words. This is known as what stand height. Now, how do I go about it? I will go by Pythagoras theorem. By what a by Pythagoras. Rules or sorry, anyhow you call it, would be which is what triangle A B C would be equals to uh, A B squared plus B C squared equals to A C squared. Now it means my A C would be equals to root of A B squared plus B C squared. Which I'll be having. What is my AB? My AB is 24 squared plus, I mean, uh, 7 squared. Now, which I'll be having by so doing, my AB will be, my AC will be equal to root of uh, 5 plus what? Plus 49, which I'll be having root of 6 to 5. Which is be 25 centimeter. It means my AC will be 25 centimeter. Successfully, I've generated what first question asked for. Now, the second question, which is B, I'm asked to the what total surface area. Now, my total surface area is very very simple. My total surface area, total surface area of this prism will be equals to. Um, oh, you know that we have two of this triangle and we have four, we have three faces. This is what I'm trying to say. Please, I'm not trying to replicate this, which is not the same thing because this is not 90. This is not a two triangle. Now, um, I mean, right angle triangle, this is not right angle triangle. One, two, three. The same thing that we'll be having here one, two, three. One, two, and three. That is what we are talking about here. Now, it means we'll be talking about, um, we'll be talking about if, okay, for us to understand, total surface area will be equal to area of triangle ABC plus area, area <coughs> of triangle D F E plus area of rectangle rectangle A C D F plus area of rectangle B C D F E plus area of rectangle A, B, F, E, F, rather. Now, that is, can you see, I've told you that we have three rectangles. One, two, three. And if we have two triangles, one, two, that is all. Now, by so doing that, I can be able to find my what? The area. Now that is my area, and um, that is. I think by now we should be able to solve the question. I think the question is half solved. The question is what half solved. Now, if I'm the, I will find the area area of triangle 
A, B, C will be equals to 1 all over 2 height 24 multiplied by what? This, that will be 7, which is, I'll be having here 12. Now, 12 times this, I'll be having... <coughs> now, don't forget that I'm talking about perpendicular distance, which is, that is what I'm going to be... At. Now, you keep doing those things, and I don't need to stress myself in that aspect, which you can do that. Now, it means my total surface area will be equals to... Now, the first one is 1 all over 2 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 7 plus the second one will also be what? Um, 1 all over 2. This matters are very much for today. Now, 1 all over 2 and multiply by 24 multiply by 7 plus. Now, it means I've set to this triangle, this triangle. I've told that this is equal to this. This equals to this, and this, which is we have found that time, is 25. 25 centimeter. It means it's also 25 centimeter. Now, will be equal to that, and um, okay, plus length times breadth. Length times breadth. Oh, this is given as 40. Oh, I didn't put it, sorry. 40 centimeter. It means I'll be having 40. 40 multiplied by 7 plus, uh, which is, let me put bracket there, and 40 multiplied by 7, and also 24 multiplied by 40, 24 multiplied by 40, that will be 24 multiplied by 40 plus, and the last one will be what? 25 multiplied by 40. 25 multiplied by 40. And that is all. Hope I'm not making a mistake. Okay, I'm not making it. Now with this, I can I can do whatever I want to do. Here will give me 84 plus 84 plus here will give me 40 times uh 40 times it should be 40 times 7. I don't make sorry, I hope I'm not making a mistake. 40 times 7, which I will be having. Here will be 280 plus, we have um, 1,000 plus 960. Now, when I add up everything, it will give me uh, 2,408, 408 centimeter Cube. I mean square rather squared. Now it means my total surface area of this pyramid, I mean of this prism, it will be what 2408 centimeter squared. That is my answer. That is my answer. Now can you see it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Now I think I have another question here. Okay, let me quickly put on this question for better um, uh, illustration. Now, look at this question. Now, um, look at this question also. Okay. Now, permit me to write down the question. Now, look at this question. The height of a triangular prism is 6 cm. If the cross-section of the prism is an equilateral, equilateral, take note of this, triangle of side 8 cm, Find its volume. Now, if the question requires me, I mean, it's requested for drawing, I can draw, but it is not necessary. Now, what you just need to do, solution to this problem. Have I mentioned volume before? Oh, volume of the prism, volume of 
prism, it always equals to base area multiplied by what height. Now, what is the base area? It will come like this. Sorry, let me quickly try to stretch it out. This is a collateral triangle and is in eight centimeter. Now, this is another collateral triangle. They are of the same size, eight centimeter. Now, it means it will come like this. It will come like this, and this will come like this. Now, that is what we are talking about. Now, here will be eight, eight, and likewise eight, and what eight. Now, and um, this will be what the height is given as what six centimeter. It means here will be six. Here will be six. That is what I'm talking about. Now, with what I've done now, I can quick, I can easily generate my what total surface area and the volume. Now, the volume is saying that the base area, my base area, area of this triangle will be equals to. I will be using Eos formula, which is I'll be having x bracket of x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. Now, it means my a equals to b equals to c, which is equals to eight. Now, centimeter. And my s will be equals to what? One to second. I mean, half of. 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24 divided by 2, that will be 12. My S will be 12. Now, it means my base area, base, now base area will be equals to root of 12, bracket of 12 minus 8, 12 minus 8, and 12 minus 8. Now, which I'll be having 12 bracket of 4, bracket of 4, and 4. Now, all roots. Now, at this point, I can say that uh, 3 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 1, 2, 3. Now, which is this one will give us 12. Don't forget that 2 of it, 2 of it, it means 4 times 4 on root of what? 3. Now, don't forget, we are now in what? Centimeter squared because area base area which is a triangle now which i'll be having 16 root of what in what centimeter squared now you are asked to find the volume my height which is my height equals to what my height is six centimeter six centimeter it means i will be saying that what the volume of what prism Will be equals to what uh base area which is going to be what 16 root of what three multiplied by what six which is 16 times six it will give me 96 root of three centimeter cube please help me to manage my marker the marker is painted now now that is what we are to get that is my volume it means my volume equals to this that is the volume of the um now, before I end this video, I have another question which I got from the past question. Okay, permit me to write this question down. Triangular prism. Now, the next video, I'll be talking about a rectangular prism. Just try so that we'll be able to manage the trapezium and the, the, the upper base, upper rectangle, I mean, upper rectangle and lower rectangle. In finding the volume and the others. Now, uh, look at this question. Permit me to write it down. Okay, look at the one I was explaining that time, which is the scaling base. This is not equal to this, equal to not equal to this. Here is 3 centimeter, here is 5 centimeter, and here is not given, which you don't know it. But you can get it with the help of Pythagoras. Sorry. This one will be 2.5, 2.5, which is 2.5 squared, 2.7 squared equals to uh slight height squared by so then that by so doing that you get here but i'm asked to find volume i don't need to go far away and the volume is always equals to volume of the word prism will be equals to area 
of the cross section multiplied by what? Distance or height. Distance between the faces. The faces. Now, by so doing that, you will get your words. Now, area of the, the triangle, the area of this triangle will be equals to equals to one all over two of five multiplied by what 2.7. I mean 2.7. Now by so doing that I'll be having 13.5 all over what two which is equals to what it means the area will be what um 6.75 centimeter squared that is the area I can now go for the volume my volume of prism will be equals to um, 6.75 multiplied by what? It's 4.5 in centimeter cube. By so doing that, I'll be having 30.375 centimeter cube, which I can now say that what? The volume will approximately equals to 30.4 centimeter cube. That is my answer. I will be stopping here. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.